9-11, like many, I lived it. I was here in the city. I went down there. I saw the towers fall. And I spent a lot of time down there. And I lost people down there. And it changed me. And I asked my then girlfriend to marry me 11 days later because I was so convinced uh, that life was fleeting and that this was the new normal. And for me, it was the best decision I've ever made. Uh, for her, other than our three kids, <laughs> she probably could have done a lot better. But what is the legacy of that moment? The broken families, the disruption, the war, the death. There are some of us who decided to make it an inspiration for them to be better. And they are at West Point. Listen to them. Where were you born? I was born in Iraq, sir. And why are you here? I'm here because I want to serve the nation that gave me the American dream. My father was an interpreter for the United States Army, the U.S. Army as a whole, uh, and the American institution has given my family an outlet to chase the American dream. My brother graduated last year from West Point. He just graduated Ranger School today. And I think having that, uh, that call to service to set our lives forward and build that generational call to service, I think that you can't find that anywhere else. Frank Luntz has been telling us who we are in this country for decades. He's never done it better than he's doing it at West Point. This is who we are, too. Dan Abrams starts now. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.